damn, just listen to that theme! <laughs> Hello again everyone, my name is Chronos006, and surprise, I decided to play Gabriel Knight, Sins of the Fathers. Man, I cannot hear myself talk over this theme. <laughs> Alright, so, this is the original. I know I mentioned both in comments and in the Gabriel Knight 2 video that I was not going to play this one. Well, I changed my mind. Uh, all of a sudden, I was just struck, inspiration struck me. And I, I'm sure my trip to New Orleans that I recently took helped inspire me to play it too. But for now, I'm gonna try this. God, I just love that theme so much! Yes! <laughs> Alright, so this is the original 1993 Gabriel Knight Sins of the Fathers by Sierra Online. Uh, produced by Jane Jensen, and this is the talkie version. This stars Tim Curry as Gabriel, Mark Hamill, and more people that I can't think of right now. <laughs> Trust me, there's a lot of star power in this one. Now, if you guys didn't, I hope you guys didn't mind all the talking and the question asking in the second one, because there's a lot of it in this one. If you thought the second one was too much, you may not like this one very much, but let's just get right into it. Gabriel Knight, Sins of the Fathers. Let's do it. My gosh, that music is loud. Uh, I got this off goodoldgames.com. Ah. <gasps> What's that? Okay, so that's the intro movie, I guess. <laughs> Sorry, you guys have to hear the same song again, but... I guess I'll let the credits roll a little bit here. Robert Holmes, same guy that did the second one. Love it. Freaking love it. Now, this game does not take place in Germany. It takes place in New Orleans, in the United States. I did recently take a trip there for the first time, and I saw a lot of the locations in this game. I'll be mentioning that. Now, let me address my history with this game a little bit. Once again, this was when games started to grow up a little bit. This was when um, it was the kind of game that was not approved of by my parents, so I could not play it at the time. I did not play this until it was re-released like, re in a classics collection, I think, in 2000, maybe? Or maybe that's when the CD version came out. I don't know. All I know is that I played it around that time. I played it around 99, 2000. And I didn't enjoy it as much as Gabriel Knight 2, mainly because I found myself getting, like, if you thought I got stuck in Gabe Knight 2, like, that's nothing compared to how much I'm going to get stuck in this game, I guarantee it. So, I'm going to go ahead and fully admit right here, I'm go probably going to be using a walkthrough in this game. Sorry. It's just, it's so easy to get stuck in one of these games. I mentioned this in Gabe Knight 2. Gabriel Knight 2 at least had the function that you could get a little hint as to where to go in case you got stuck. This does not. There it is, Tim Curry, one of my favorite actors of all time. Mark Hamill as Detective Mosley. Leah Ramini, I'm not as good with her. Virginia Capers, don't know who that is. Michael Dorn, in other words, Mr. Worf from Star Trek. All right, well, I'm, I'm itching to get started, so I'm gonna go ahead and get this started here. Day one. I dreamt of blood upon the shore, of eyes that spoke of sin. The lake was smooth and deep and black, as was her scented skin. There goes Gracie. Mm-hmm. I bet. Just a minute. It lives, I see. Do you want to speak with Lolita? I'm sorry, but Gabriel is a lout. Oh, 
I mean, he's out. <laughs> yeah, if he ever comes back, I'll tell him. You know, you could do better. I know I don't know you, but you could do better. Good morning. The phone's been ringing off the hook all morning. Let me know when you want your messages. Yeah. Gee, you're lively. Did you have another nightmare last night? Sort of. Mm-hmm. I told you it's that voodoo book you're researching. That stuff can seriously screw up your karma. I'm sure that's it. Maybe I should write a horror novel on passive resistance instead. <sighs> so don't sleep. It's your body. Anyway, your handheld tape recorder came today. Really? Great. I can't wait to see what human rights you violate with this one. I can't wait to violate them. For example, if you would just let me... And I located some local voodoo references for you. Dixieland Drugstore and the Historical Museum of Voodoo. Both are right here in French Quarter. How would I ever manage without you? You? Give me a break. The devil himself couldn't change you. Well, if the devil had great legs, perhaps. Like yours. And a riveting personality, I'm sure. Well, if you need any more research done, just ask. It's not as though we're swamped with customers. All right, so all the staples of an adventure of a great Sierra adventure game are here. We have our walk icon, our look icon, and we can talk to people as well as ask them questions. We can operate things. I don't quite know what that does. Oh, okay, so that lets me move an object, and that just opens or closes a door or object. Alrighty, so we have our recorder, our handy dandy recorder, just like we had in the second one. Uh, and we have our scorekeeper, of course. Now, I'm gonna see if I can turn on subtitles. There we go. Because I know everybody goes nuts if I don't have the subtitles. So don't worry about that, we've got them on. And let's begin, shall we? We can easily see some things that stand out here. Today's newspaper is on the counter. <laughs> I just love the, the Miss Cleo narrator voice. <laughs> So, it is true, I was recently in New Orleans, about maybe, probably a month, maybe a month and a half ago now, but, unfortunately, there is no real St. George's books, but, uh, I looked, I did not find it. So anyway, let's begin. Times Pickle Hume, dated June 18, 1993. The front page has an article about the voodoo murders. The article says that the victims are all identified as members of the underworld. The general public of New Orleans is in no danger. Police claim the so-called voodoo trappings found at the crime scenes are fake, a scare tactic and that the murders are not associated with any genuine practitioners. Gabriel also scans the Aquarius horoscope oh God, for the an Aquarius. Day. Potential storms ahead. Proceed with caution, and do not get involved with anything new at this time. Mm, right. <laughs> Man. Oh, you hear that little chime? Yep, we just got a point. So why don't we save? I don't want to lose my progress. Uh, George's Books 1. Alright, man, I'm so excited to play this. <laughs> my kidney's already floating, thanks. And I'm serious, I, I, before, I really didn't want to do it for some reason. I just had bad memories about, I think, being just so frustrated and stuck in this game. But ever since playing the second one, and ever since going to New Orleans, holy crap, do I want to play this one. Take our magnifying glass. Mind if I borrow the magnifying glass? No, Sherlock. Just bring it back when we get the next estate shipment. No problem. And it's funny, if you look at this graphic, they really did manage to make the, uh, the Gabriel Knight in the second one look kind of like it. I mean, the hair's different, but, you know, they did it. What is this? There's a pair of tweezers on the Thank counter. You. I'm gonna pick those up. 
I'm gonna take the tweezers for a bit. Good. You're beginning to look a little scruffy. Just trying to make you feel at home. Their banter is just great. Gabriel cannot see any way to pick that up. Uh, can I operate it? The coffee has already been I'm made. I'm pretty sure that's a phone. Okay. Gabriel can. Guess I can't do anything with it. No, don't open it. Tree snakes in a skull. Gabriel's father. Oh, painted. his dad was an artist. What a wacky, offbeat kind of guy daddy was. Did he have sins? All right. Wishful thinking. <laughs> Talk to me, Grace. So, what's new, Grace? Your use of mathematics, for one thing. These books are unbelievable. What can I say? I refuse to be bound by rules. The strap marks on your bedpost oh, speak damn. otherwise. Did I ever tell you that you're actually quite attractive? Be still, my heart. You'll change your tune in number two. Had any customers lately? Uh, no. But I'm sure you have. It's an ash tree. Thanks, Cleo. I'm just gonna call her Cleo from now on. Gabriel doesn't need the. All right. Okay, so. Got a minute, Grace? What's up? So you're gonna see a lot of the game is gonna take place in little screens like this. These are the uh, questioning screens. The art in this game is fantastic, by the way. Just look at that. So, Gracie, what can you tell me about voodoo? What can you tell me about voodoo? I didn't know much of anything about it until you started researching it for your book. Now I know that it's active in the city. There's that shop and museum. It can clearly be dangerous in the wrong hands. You should be careful investigating it. Okay, and now that I've asked that, it kind of grays out a little bit. So you know not to ask it again. What do you know about the voodoo murders? Just what I read in the paper, same as you. Okay, that's remarkably not helpful. Oh, wait a minute, maybe it just... Oh, no, that's right, it does gray out once you've asked it. That's good. What can you tell me about New Orleans? Well, I've only it's been here Marlins. two months, but I love it. It's so much more alive than any place I've been. It feels like anything's possible here. She's not kidding. I mean, it has an aura about it. Tell me about yourself, Grace. You're right, Knight. I mean it. What do you want to know? How come we haven't gone out yet? I'm still waiting around for that lobotomy. As soon as I get it, I'll let you know. What do you do after work? Well, I either go to my oil painting class or my Tai Chi. You know that. You know, you can go overboard with this improving yourself stuff. You don't want to alienate us mere mortals. I suppose I should just allow my mind and body to atrophy. Works for me. <laughs> and I'm sure you guys are very relieved to know that I'm doing a game with voices, so I don't have to submit you to my terrible voice acting. How do you like working at St. George's Books? Well, it's not exactly a huge intellectual challenge. Although the math in your record books could confuse Einstein. Still, I love old books, and it's a nice way to pay the bills while I explore the city for a summer. If you ever pay me, that is. How old are you? Old enough to know about men like you. Just tell me anything at all. I just got my master's in history and classics. My folks wanted me to go on right away for my PhD, but... 18 years of school was enough. I needed a break. Just tell me anything at all. I came to New Orleans because I'd read so much about it and I thought, you know, spending a few months here would clear my head. Yeah, this was an era in Sierra games when the uh, CDs came about and they, they tried to modernize a, a bunch of the different titles by including voices. I think the first one to do it might have been King's Quest V. Um, there was a bunch after that. This one, um, King's Quest 6. King's Quest 6 is probably their most famous one. Um, 
Laura Bow 2, Jones in the Fast Light, like there was just so many. I could go on and on, but nothing I guess. Never mind. Sit yourself. Now I'm guessing these ones in red are particularly important. Or maybe that means they lead to other branches. That's probably what it means. Do you have messages for me? Dana called. And uh, Susie left a message about a lawsuit. Awesome. <laughs> Okie dokie. There's more when you want them. Do you have more messages for me? Your grandmother called. I keep meaning to get over there. What did she say? Did she sound good? She sounded great, and we had a nice little chat about you. Grace. Don't worry. I didn't go into detail about your cardinal sins. Not that anything about you could surprise her. She adores you anyway. She's my girl. But she said to remind you to stop by and go through your father's things. Hmm. Okay. Okay, that probably means his dad died recently. Yeah, I mean, if you look at his hair here and the artist's rendering, they really did get an actor that looked a lot like him. I mean, that's pretty cool. I've always wondered about that. I've always wondered when it comes to, um, like actors chosen to play a certain role like in a movie or a video game who look a lot like a certain character versus their acting chops you know that's it's an interesting balance if i were a director to to do that do you have more messages for me here's a strange one you got a call from someone named wolfgang ritter he said he was calling from germany he told me it was urgent maybe you should give him a call Call Germany, like hell. If it's really important, he'll call back. <laughs> well, fine. Let's just hope he's not with the German lottery for pitiful American authors. Do you have more messages for me? Your friend Detective Mosley called. Talking of visiting. Especially with you. What do you want? He left an interesting message. He told me to tell you that his mother's maiden name is Humphrey. Oh, that's H U M. P H R E Y. Fascinating. <laughs> and that he left some photos for you at the station, at the front desk. It's about time. Gabriel, those photos wouldn't have anything to do with the Voodoo yeah. murders, would they? Now, why would you say something like that? Because I know you. You're getting privileged information, aren't you? Did you tell him you'd put him in your new Voodoo book? A writer has certain obligation to his readers, you know. Gabriel, you know you'll never put him in your book. Your main character is a female orthodontist. You're gonna be reincarnated as a pit bull if you keep screwing with your karma. As long as it's a male pit bull with a really big... That's enough. Thanks. Anyway, that's all the messages. Thank you. Yeah, you'll quickly pick up, if you hadn't already, that Gabriel's kind of a dick and he's kind of a pig. But that's why we love him so much. Could you do some research for me? Sure. What? I can't think of anything. <laughs> okay. Okay. Alright, so... We've grilled her for enough information. What's this? Grace keeps her art supplies here. The desk drawers mostly stick. Gabriel doesn't even want to know what Grace keeps in those drawers. <laughs> oh man, somebody wrote that thinking they were really clever. Either that or I'm just a pervert. Gabriel yes, cannot can. open. That doesn't. Gabriel wouldn't dare touch Grace's oil paints. Oh, I dare. What is this? St. George Books could use some serious renovation. But Gabriel likes to think that the place has character. Character! Acting! Oh, Gabriel's bedroom. Just as you'd expect. Actually cleaner than what I'd expect. The carpet was grand's. She gave it to Gabriel to cheer the place up. Now why'd you stop the nice music? Mardi Gras mementos left by some female or other. Of course. A poster on the wall advertises Mardi Gras, the biggest party of the year in New Orleans. Mardi Gras. 
In other words, Fat Tuesday. So for those who are not aware, it's the biggest party of the year in many cities, especially New Orleans. And it's supposed to be, it takes place basically right before Ash Wednesday, which is a Catholic tradition in which you become kind of more puritanical. You st- yeah, traditionally, you deny yourself something. Um, I'm not Catholic, so I don't know a whole lot more than that. And the idea is it's the last big blowout party right before you get serious and come closer to Jesus. And Mary, I guess. Like I said, I'm not Catholic. It's Gabriel's bed. Unmade. Out well, of let's Europe. make it. Ha! Clean up your damn room, Gabe. I'm one to talk. Oh, pfft. <laughs> That's not what I meant to do. <laughs> it's no use. I can't sleep. Lazy ass. So, if I recall, that is how you actually end the day. <laughs> I think. And it is not easy to get that to go. <laughs> Alright. I don't think there's a whole lot in here, but I'm going to take a quick look. Gabriel's okay. bedroom. A little coal bubbly. And brie cheese is about all Gabriel's fridge ever has Now, in it. I'm going to... Like, I'm going to do my best to not skip through dialogues, but if it's an unimportant one, I may skip it just because I'm not going to have that kind of patience. Yeah, yeah, Gabriel's yeah. Ba- Especially if it's one we've already seen, I'm definitely going to skip it, so. Jeans and <laughs> That's t-shirts. That's all he has, just jeans and white t-shirts. Gabriel's robe okay, hangs right. on. It's June, isn't it? The medicine cabinet contains a few old lots prescriptions, of hair gel. <laughs> personal hygiene stuff, and lots of hair products, including some hair oh, gel. Oh, I bet I can get that. Gabriel cannot be without his hair gel. I'll take this hair gel. You never know when you'll need a touch up. If you look really close, you can kind of tell when certain sprites stick out. And I mean, I'm playing this on a 27 inch monitor. And so for me, this is kind of a pixelated nightmare, but I'm sure you guys can see pretty clearly, but I don't know. I mean, it's really obvious to me when something sticks out. So I'm going to keep playing it this way because it'll probably help me get through it. The desk phone is cheap, but functional. Oh man, days before cell phones. What the hell did we do? Let's reach out and touch someone. Oh shit. <laughs> Figure that wouldn't work. Nope, that don't work either. All right. Um, I don't have anyone to call right now. Let's do some typing. He is an author. <laughs> Writer's block. <laughs> of course. You lazy ass. Alright. Let's get out and get some work done. There's that music I love so much. Leave my coat alone, Gabriel. I don't even know what, about what you mean. I wondered what that would do. If wishes were ponies. I can sit here and listen to this music forever. I really could. It's a bit warm in here. Gabriel decides to wait until he leaves to put on his coat. It's freaking June in the South. Why would you wear a coat at all? Whatever. I'm out of here. Try not to sell out the store while I'm gone. Uh-huh. 